He is known for his contributions to electrical engineering and physics, particularly for inventing the first thermionic valve or vacuum tube. He is recognized for his role in designing the radio transmitter that enabled the first transatlantic radio transmission. His name is Sir John Ambrose Fleming. In the world of electrical engineering and physics, one name stands out, Sir John Ambrose Fleming. Born in Lancaster, Lancashire in 1850, Fleming would go on to make groundbreaking discoveries that would shape the course of scientific history. As the eldest of seven children, he grew up in a family deeply rooted in faith, with his father being a congregational minister. Fleming himself was a devout Christian and even preached at St. Martin in the Fields in London, sharing evidence for the resurrection. But it was in the field of science that Fleming truly made his mark. He is credited with inventing the first thermionic valve or vacuum tube, a device that revolutionized electronic communication. This invention paved the way for the design of the radio transmitter used in the first transatlantic radio transmission. The world would never be the same again as information could now be transmitted across vast distances in a matter of seconds. Fleming's contributions to physics didn't stop there. He also established the right-hand rule, a fundamental principle used in physics to determine the direction of a magnetic field produced by a current-carrying wire. This rule has become a cornerstone in the study of electromagnetism. Fleming's work not only advanced scientific knowledge but also had practical applications in various fields, from telecommunications to electrical engineering. After leaving the University of Nottingham in 1882, John Ambrose Fleming took up a position as an electrician for the Edison Electrical Light Company. His expertise in lighting systems and alternate current made him a valuable asset. In 1884, Fleming joined University College London as the chair of electrical technology, a first-of-its-kind position in England. Despite the opportunities, he was given minimal equipment, just a blackboard and a piece of chalk. However, in 1897, the Pender Laboratory was founded at the university, and Fleming became the Pender Chair, thanks to a generous endowment. In 1899, Guglielmo Marconi, the inventor of radio telegraphy, sought to achieve transatlantic radio communication. He enlisted Fleming's help to design a powerful radio transmitter, as Fleming was an expert in power engineering. Fleming successfully designed the world's first large radio transmitter, powered by a 25 kilowatts alternator driven by a combustion engine. This groundbreaking transmitter, built in Cornwall, UK, transmitted the first radio signal across the Atlantic on December 12, 1901. Although Fleming was responsible for the design, Marconi insisted on taking most of the credit. He only acknowledged Fleming, along with other employees, for their work on the power plant. Additionally, Marconi failed to fulfill his promise of giving Fleming 500 shares of Marconi stock. Fleming felt bitter about this treatment but honored his agreement and remained silent until after Marconi's death in 1937 when he called Marconi very ungenerous. In 1904, while working for the Marconi company to improve transatlantic radio reception, Fleming invented the first thermionic vacuum tube, which he called the oscillation valve or the Fleming valve. This diode, later known as the Fleming valve, became the first vacuum tube and marked the beginning of electronics. It was widely used in radio receivers and radars for several decades until solid-state technology took over. Fleming's contributions extended beyond the Fleming valve. In 1906, Lee de Forest added a control grid to the valve, creating the triode, the first electronic amplifier. Fleming accused de Forest of infringing his patents, leading to a lengthy court battle. The triode played a vital role in long-distance communication, including telephones, radios, radars, and early electronic computers. Fleming also made significant contributions to photometry, wireless telegraphy, electrical measurements, and coined the term, power factor, to describe true power in AC systems. Fleming retired from University College London in 1927 at the age of 77 but remained active as a passionate advocate for television technology. He served as the second president of the Television Society, and in 1929, he was knighted for his achievements. Fleming passed away in 1945 at his home in Sidmouth, Devon. His contributions to electronic communications and radar were instrumental in winning World War II. In 1933, Fleming was awarded the IRE Medal of Honor for his significant role in advancing physics. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.